Hello there! Welcome back to Battlefield, Battlefield 1 that is. Man, it's been a long time since I played this game. There have just been so many single players that I got caught up in and I started to fall in love with. And I didn't really miss Battlefield. I thought about it a few times, but I was like, hey, I can wait a little bit longer uh, before I go back to Battlefield. But now, kind of, I got the itch and I was like, I need to go back. Because I heard there were a few n new things, like they fixed a lot of things, and I guess there's like a weapon or two that is new, if I'm not mistaken. But we no longer have the CTE, and what happened when I came in here first is that all my unlocked weapons were locked again, and I was kind of like a shock at first. But then I did some research online, and I learned that people who uninstalled the CT actually lost all the DLC packages and everything that came with it and so simple solution was to just basically reinstall the DLC and actually premium too and that solved it like right away. Phew! Man, I really thought I had to re-unlock. I don't think I would have done that because we're so close now to the new battlefield and speaking of yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since we heard or saw the announcement trailer for Battlefield 5 and when I saw the first trailer, I reacted just like most of the Battlefield fans. I was like, what is going on? Is this the direction DICE is going with Battlefield now? Are they trying to become like another Call of Duty? Are they trying to become another Fortnite? What are they trying to do? This is not what we fans want. The reason we love Battlefield so much because Battlefield is just unique in that it's the nitty gritty war feeling and realism that we have. Well, as much as real as it gets for a fun shooter like that. And so I was like, all right, I set the trailer aside and I was like, well, you know, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna buy Battlefield because I'm just loyal to the series. But I'm not excited this time. I'm not at all excited about it. And then we saw the second trailer and the second trailer looked a lot more again like what we used to seeing from Battlefield. But it looked a lot like Battlefield 1. And I have to say I wasn't really excited for Battlefield 1 either because I didn't think that, you know, there's going to be enough weapons, enough excitement in a World War One scenario and I couldn't imagine how they can make it fun but they really pulled this one off. This game has been so much fun so far. I've had hundreds of hours of fun and I'm sure we'll have plenty of more hours of fun until the new Battlefield comes out but I'm just not so sure about Battlefield 5. It's basically almost like playing Battlefield 1 with a few more uh, modern weapon, not that much modern and different vehicles, but the rest is pretty much the same. So I'm not so sure how this game can be much more exciting than what we've already seen. And yes, I know they're changing a lot of things. They're putting in a battle royale, which I feel like, why? Why copy everyone else? Why not do your own thing? It's like just because it's that where the money is that we have to have a battle royale in there. Well, it doesn't hurt. Well, let's just have it. You don't have to play it if you don't like it. I just feel like it's sad when game companies are trying to copy each other. Just what happened with Fortnite stealing everything from the PUBG creators and it was like why why don't you just do your own thing why do you copy everything and it's so obvious that you just copied everything you just changed the graphics everything else is exactly the same why and you even get away with it come on anyway enough of this rant <laughs> that's another topic i guess but anyway yeah i'm definitely gonna buy battlefield 5 and i'm sure i'm gonna have plenty of fun it's just how I feel right now. I don't know, it's just... I can't imagine how this can be something that we haven't already had. How can this be something that we're gonna be all excited about? Only time will tell. 
So what they have really announced and what we've all noticed is that they have all of a sudden building elements in Battlefield 5. And again, this is something that they probably got the idea from Fortnite. They thought, hey, people like building stuff. Let's put some building stuff in. People like Battle Royale. Let's make a Battle Royale game mode. Oh well. Anyway, so it feels like you can really tell that they were looking at other games and tried to copy. And sometimes this is a good thing, you know, when developers look what works and they incorporate it. I just feel like everyone is trying to copy Fortnite now and it has a lot to do with just money because, you know, they see where the money goes and they want to be part of it. And I just don't want all the games to be alike at the end and another big trend that we have now is that more and more games that used to be just single player games all of a sudden become multiplayer games fallout 76 is just the most recent example of that which has upset a lot of people so not only did we have not my battlefield tweets we also had not my fallout tweets so people are really really upset and things don't go into the direction that the developers hope they're going but we'll see but anyway back to the building in battlefield 5 i mean some of the buildings you know if you can pile some packs on top of each other to kind of make a wall to hide behind that's fine to build some kind of cover on the field but if you are rebuilding a whole wall in a house i feel that's where i draw the limit it's like come on leave a little bit of realism in battlefield please don't make it so that this game is becoming like this just this choke and you will just lose a lot of fans and fans will move on to more realistic shooters like escape from tarkov and insurgency sandstorm which is coming out soon and there's a few more and that's exactly what happened when call of duty became this like jump around and flying soldier game and a lot of people that were loyal to the call of duty series they were like no i do not like this anymore and they, they came over to battlefield and they're now with battlefield but they have to be very, very careful not to piss off the fans because that could be a really big mistake. But I think at the end they're just going to go for maybe new players, hoping to pull in some new players and don't care about the veterans. I don't know, maybe we make up a smaller number. I have no idea. Like I said, only time will tell. But as it is now, it is a little bit concerning where this is headed. But we'll see, uh, maybe they're listening to the fans and maybe they do not uh, add the face paint and all that fancy stuff that was in the first trailer and it's actually becoming a really good shooter. So I leave it at that and I hope you enjoyed this video despite my rant, but maybe you agree with me and if you disagree, you can leave a comment. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I hope I see you next time and I hope to put out some more Battlefield 1 videos in the future, especially before the new Battlefield comes out. So happy gaming, have a good day, take care, bye!